and welcome to another episode of Head to Head. Hey, that was pretty good. Yeah, and tonight we're going to be doing um, slightly below uh, premium beers, I guess you would say. So be the level below the Budweiser. More affordable. Yes. More affordable beer. We're not going value. These aren't the value yet. More affordable. Yeah. Um, um, we have another level of cheaper beers to go below this. Um, but we are doing Hams versus Miller High Life, which I think are pretty similar beers. Um, but they are they are pretty similar. Um, as always, we're doing them blind. Which which one is your money on? My money. I'm actually gonna put my money on Miller High Life. Really? I wanted to put it on Hams just because whenever I find Hams, I buy it just so I can give it to people and be like, have a ham. Um, <laughs> and they always go, oh, a what? Uh, oh, it's a beer. <laughs> um, I feel like. Um, I feel like High Life always said a weird vegetable oil taste to me, but I'm, I'm going to be curious to see if I can pinpoint that blind. Because before I was able, I was you know able to pull it out. Honestly, I haven't bought I haven't bought uh, Miller High Life yeah. since I was in um, my first year of college. All right, <laughs> let's do this. So uh, they're really similar in color. Carbonation is about the same. Well, you have to remember this is this test tube is uh, is thinner than the uh, the Miller the oh no Michelob glass so it's gonna look clearer so the smell is very similar however one is slightly stronger than the other scent wise they're almost the same smell wise yeah they do this one smells like it's thicker do you know what i mean like taste it it's like i can't describe why i think it's thicker but right. it smells thicker. whatever this one is it's very corny the one in the Michelob glass Oh yeah, that's got a uh, that's got a definite corn sort of hua pop to it. So does the other one actually. They both have really corniness to. This one's got a lot more um, uh, carbonation that stings the tongue. It's got a little funk to it too. I I, I don't dislike either one of these. Actually, they're kind of good. Hmm. I know which one I like. So, I, uh, I have made my decision. Me too. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. Hold your glass in the air. Yeah. We disagree again. Wait, we have different glasses. Hold on. Mine does not have a piece of tape on the bottom. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's got a piece of tape. No, she didn't do that this way. I think she went by glasses. Oh, did she? Oh, yeah. well, yeah. That makes sense. So we have two of the same glasses. Uh, Michelob glass is hams. Uh, <laughs> so I chose hams, and I, I was right, and you chose... High life. I think hams is just, you can tell. It's like, I feel like I still get some of the funky vegetable oil taste in the high life. I like it, but hams doesn't have that. It was the prickliness on the, my on my tongue that I decided I liked more, honestly. It was it was the most prevalent thing. Do you like to feel prickly mint on your, on your tongue? <laughs> I, I don't know how you're making that jump. <laughs> um, all right. I'm not a huge fan. All right, so we, <laughs> it's funny because it's the three in a row that we've disagreed on. So. Uh, I think I think what's happening actually is you are slowly losing your ability to taste beer. That's the only answer to this. Just prefer different brands. I guess. All right, well, <laughs> let us know in the comments down below which one you prefer. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.